Oh, nah, nah. Oh, nah, my balls just, my balls just went up inside my ass. Oh, no. All right, Clint, uh, Cliff, 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 welcome to the St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. My producer, Tom, said good things about you. In your backpack is a flashlight, a voice recorder, an EMF, and a couple of little fun occult things. We'll let you know when to take those out. Ready to pay off some of those college debts and beer tabs? Well, of course you are. And when you're ready, enter in through those front doors. Okay, so first of all, it starts you out immediately and staring at the ceiling for whatever reason. So in this game, our name is Cliff and we're in a paranormal investigator. If we get nothing, we get $500. But if we get paranormal activity, then they'll pay us $2,500 extra. And honestly, that's all I read about the game. So we're just going to continue, I guess. I don't know why it started us like that. It's really weird. Nice. The door was unlocked. Ah, it can get a little sticky sometimes. So here's the story behind the St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. It was founded in the 1880s, closed in the 1960s, and a lot of nasty stuff happened here. I mean, this place is only supposed to house around 500 patients, but at its peak, it was around 3,300 patients in here. I mean, the place was, you know, less of a hospital and more of a place where you dropped your problems off and hope they disappeared. Ah, gotcha. So they never actually cared for the patients, it was kind of just, oh, this person's crazy in my life. Get them out of our life and just do our thing. In the end, this place was sort of against what the Bible's supposed to teach. I mean, there was no love here, no grace, no healing. The patients were not here to be rehabilitated. Ordinary people just wanted them gone for public. They shoved those with non-threatening mental conditions or those deemed inappropriate to society together with legitimate psychopaths and murderers and other violent monsters and basically said, let God sort it out. The atrocities in here are just too much to count. The death toll was unreal. The violence, the disease, the abuse, nobody cared. And once you came to this place, you never left. Nice. This is where the hundred hallways patients would convene, and we heard that the patients pre-1920 actually received decent care. Then the war hit, the depression hit, and then the budgets all fell apart. The room you stand in once healed 20 patients in need of attention, and by the end, 150 patients have passed this room, naked, starving, attacking each other at random, flaying themselves with metal wires from their beds. Nice. Be careful where you step. Okay. Oh, am I supposed to stand there? Alright, this is a good place to start. Okay. I want you to take out your voice recorder, and I'll hopefully be able to awaken this place. Okay, spirits of St. Augustine, please reveal your presence to us. Show us that you are in this room. Feel free to interact with anything, or speak to us. Use your words, use your voice, and let us know that you're here. Hello, okay, spirit. Back. Oh. Know that you're here. Uh, nothing. All right, let's try this again. Oh, we're gonna try it over here now. Okay. All right, all right, let's try this. Ghosts of Saint Augustine, please let us know that you are still in this hospital. I give you permission to reveal yourself. I give you permission to come to life. Just give us a sign that you are here. Tell us where you are. Speak to us now into this microphone. Alright, check that. Now into this microphone. Alright, let's try one more spot. You know, why is this guy not in here with me? Like, he's got the voice, you know, he should be in here. Like, why do I gotta be in this bitch by myself? <sighs> Ghosts of St. Augustine, you're all a bunch of ghoulish pricks. Show up, or piss off! Whoa, 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 did you hear that? Did you... Play that back, play that back. Pricks, show up, or piss off! Oh, all right, all right. We, looks like we got an investigation. All right, I want you to go down the morgue hallway 
and we're gonna continue our investigation in the other gathering area. Bro, are you shitting me? Like, how is he sitting there talking all this shit, and he's not even in here, bro? He's- this- nah, I wouldn't work for this guy. He's gonna get me killed, bro. Uh, he's gonna get me killed. Oh, God. Bro, if I walk down this hallway and you start talking shit... I'm gonna beat your ass when I get back. Okay, the four areas you need to visit to fulfill your contract. The e-social area is the first on the list. This is the area where the inmates who were deemed a danger to society would convene. Oh. You'll go to this room and perform a summoning ceremony. So walk into the center and we will begin. If I survive this, I'm coming back to beat your ass. This is the entrance to patient cells 200 to 219. Eh, we're talking extreme bipolarism, schizophrenia, dementia. Not necessarily dangerous, but it could be a challenge for society. Dang, the door's locked. This sucks. This is the entrance to the patient cells 220 to 240. This is where they kept the lunatics, the murderers, the sociopaths. The worst of the worst, including Clive the Peeper Johnson. You'd think he would be a pervert with a nickname the Peeper, but the truth is far worse. He was extremely manipulative and very intelligent. He was a murderer and a maimer. Most of his victims could never identify him because he managed to convince them to gouge their own eyes out with metal wires and even their own fingernails. He came here due to legal loopholes, and when the facility went off the rails and the doctor stopped caring, he jumped into action. The patients who didn't listen were tortured, and the ones who did wandered around the facility, blind, screaming, and in constant fear. This door's locked, too. Hmm. Let's just start the ceremony. Alright, here we go. Oh! Spirits inside this asylum, we know that you're here. We release you from your restraints. Come forward and live again. This person is no longer shielded from the realm of the dead. You may be seen, interact, and manipulate oh. him in any way as you see fit. No way this dude just told them they can- Don't just stand there, go- go check it out! Brother! There, there ain't no way that you just told them that they could do whatever they want to to my body. I will not become a victim. Oh god. What? What? It, nothing even happened. What? 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 Damn, I. Oh, this one opens. Oh, is this my. Okay, dog, damn, my bad. I'll leave. All right. Shit. Oh, nah, nah. Oh, nah. My balls just. My balls just went up inside my ass. Oh, no. Oh, hell no. I don't have balls anymore. Where are they? Couldn't tell you. Why is there so many boxes? Damn, you guys can't package for shit in this place. Oh, this one opens too. What? Hey, blood, my bad. Oh my god, the box just scared me. I thought somebody was standing there. Fuck. <laughs> I'm so paranoid now. Nope. Nope. Yep. Damn! Hey, mommy! Damn, my. I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh, but dude, that sound- the sound effects was just somebody hitting a hammer off of a piece of metal, and, a, and it sounded like a lion was growling. Get the hell out of there. Just- just go to the front door and get out. Oh, oh no, stop. Don't touch me. I'm not turning around. Alright, get out of this hallway and then take a- take your second right. 
I'm not turning around. Okay, there's a, there's a staircase. Take the staircase up to the second floor, and you should be next to a fire escape. You should be able to get out that way, so, so go up the staircase. Why couldn't we just be nice? Where's the staircase? Staircase. S staircase to floor two. Dude. This is some grade A bullshit, by the way. I don't get paid for this. $2,500? Hell no. East social area, pharmacy, patient's room, fire escape. Uh, homeboy, door doesn't open. Try this door open. Go back downstairs. I, I bet you there was something downstairs we could probably use. Hey, m hey, 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 mofo. Why don't you, uh... Oh, God. Mofo, why don't you get your ass in here and help me? Hold on, hold on. That staircase wasn't there before. This place doesn't even have a basement. What the... F what, what is going on? Alright, alright, just... I don't think you got any other choice. I think you gotta make your way downstairs. Bro, uh, look. You need to get your ass down here and help me, because I'm not doing this shit alone. Like, if we die, we die together. You're my ride or die. Officially starting now. What do you mean, no? Do you need a ride or die, homie? Wait, why did I try opening that? Wait, what? Why did I try opening that? That was... Stupid. Gone. How far down is down? We see you? Stop. The hell you do? Surgery. Oh, nah. Oh, Oh, nah. We're gonna walk around this. I'm just gonna not stand in the middle of that. White. Bro, what is you doing? <laughs> what are you? <laughs> All right, bro. You do you. Keep, have fun, buddy. Yep. I'll be over here if you need anything. I haven't tried opening those other doors, but I don't think they are going to open. Why will none of these doors open? Wait. Oh, the hallway changed. Oh. You always go left first. <laughs> okay, bro. Okay, bro. Okay, bro. Alright, let's, 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 let's fucking relax. Oh, a long corridor. What can go wrong? Haha. <laughs> Stop. Don't do it. Please. I'm sterile. Oh my dude. Wait, what? Oh dude, what? Everything's shit. What? Okay, what is going on? No eyes don't see? Brother, that sounds like your problem. What's on the ceiling? Nothing. Oh, there's just blood. <gasps> okay, okay. Again, what is up with the tiger growling and the motorcycle noises, bro? Oh, damn, she looks like she gives good head. Alright, anyway, um... Okay. Damn, that's a lot of blood. Alright, confession time. Uh, it's about
about the eyes. I kind of hid this from you. There's an urban legend, and, and I, I repeat, it's an urban legend about the peeper Clive Johnson. You see, the there was a patient who suffered from dementia and swore that Clive was more than just a mere man, and uh, he would kind of haunt this patient all throughout the day, you know, rampant hallucinations that progressively got worse, but at night he never saw the peeper. Then he discovered that if he closed his eyes, he could escape Clive, but whenever he opened them, Clive would be there, waiting for him and getting closer and closer. Eventually, the patient used a fork and he blinded himself. And while he was soaked in his blood from his sockets, he screamed to the entire hospital that he was free, he was safe. And a week later, two more patients charged Clive with stalking them, even though he was confined to solitary. I mean, it's crazy. They, they took their eyesights, too. His pattern didn't stop. I thought it was BS, but based on what we've seen tonight, I don't pretty much believe anything. So, I'm trying to get the hell out of there, and if it gets too intense, try to shut your eyes. Damn flashlight broke. I can't use that anymore. What do you mean, come here? Are you talking to me? Who said that? Actually, alright. Damn, why is bro so stanced up? <laughs> okay. This music is so intense for no reason. Ooh! Man, he's coming! I'm... Um, nope, we're, we're leaving. Nope. 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 Fuck. Okay. We're going. I'm not turning around. We're leaving. We are leaving! Just go. Just go. Just go. Just go. Open. Oh? Oh, crap. Uh, you got a choice. Either he gets you, or you're, you're gonna have to cut him out. from your camera. Bad news is it's pitch black. There, there's no light. Your oh. room, there's nothing I could see. The flashlight went out, and, and we, we don't even know where you are. I'm not going in there. I, I, do you, are you going in there? I'm not going in there. I'm, hell no. Look. Uh, you better come in here and get my ass. You're the one who talked I'm, shit in the beginning. If you can't feel anything, I, I'm sorry. We're not coming. Are you kidding me? I'm sorry, man. Bro. I have to go. I'm sorry. That is so messed up. Long story short, if you guys did enjoy what you watched, go ahead and leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. It's free to do. It helps me out. You can always change your mind later. And as always, never trust your friends. I was steady pushing on, couldn't break when the limit came. I don't know no limit, I done overcome about anything. Nigga, I can tell you how I mastermind the future. Shit, the time it ain't wrong. I be dropping bangers like I'm Luther. So my eyes started to turn red when the smoke hit. I started vision how I snap back on the road to riches. Walk in the bank and know my name for putting money in it. Or they gon' see me when the mess when they be breathing.